they're not my fingerprints. Well, whose fingerprints are they? Well, someone else must have given them. So if someone's got into a police station under arrest, giving your photo and giving your fingerprints, yeah, it's a setup. There's, there's always this uh, what if man or prove it officer, but it was as simple as um, do you know why I stopped you? What? Do you know why I stopped you? What? Right, start. Whose car is it? Oh, that's my car. Right, what's your name? My name? What do you want my name for? Well, because you're driving the car. What car? The car we've just stopped. Right, let's start again. What's your name? My name? What do you want my name for? Whose is the car? It's not my car. You've got out of driver's seat car. No, I the driver's run off. I got out of passenger seat. Right, what's your name? And I'll say, John Smith. Um, all right, John Smith, have you got any idea on you? I've got my brother's driving license. It looks like me, he's called Barry Smith. And we've got the same date of birth. And you pull it out and it's him. And you're like, hang on a minute, this is you. What's your date of birth? 3rd of May, 1976. 3rd of May, 76, how old are you then? 24. Shouldn't you be 44? You can see me back at car going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But my brother's disqualified, but I've got his driving license on me. So you scan his fingerprints and it comes back as Paul Smith, his cousin. So you, you've got your brother's driving licence on you, you're giving you fake details, and you, it comes back as Paul Smith. You can't fake um, fingerprints. When you get up taken into the station, you get your fingerprints taken. You know, they're not my fingerprints. Well, whose fingerprints are they? Well, someone else must have given them. So if someone's got into a police station under arrest, giving your photo and giving your fingerprints, yeah, it's a setup. And you can see them getting redder and redder and redder, and the pressure is sinking and getting more on top, and whatever they're trying to do, they'll just try and outsmart you all the time. But they don't have that initial spark. They'll just set themselves up all the time. It's my cat, no, it's not my cat, it's someone, what's your name? Uh, Imran Cat. Uh, Imran saying, you're gonna say Imran Khan then? No, I won't. I know him, he's my cousin, but he's disqualified as well, and he's wanted on warrant. All right, and have you got any idea on you? I've got my brother's ID. And you're just thinking like, why, why can't you just, just tell the truth? Did they ride it? Some of them ride into the right, yeah. You can sit there for 40 minutes. You can sit there for 40 minutes off an hour. If you don't tell me you are, I'm going to lock you up. That is me. I'm Ben Pearson. That is me. I'm Ben Pearson. Ben Pearson. Right, right, you're locked up. All right, and I'm not. I'm Paul Smith. Well, why? Why? I just thought I'd have a go. But you could have been dealt with. Now I'm locking you up. You could have been dealt with and taken away. Or we could have just seized your car. And then it's bred into people now to lie. I mean, you're thinking about how it works from your decent members perspective where we celebrate Christmas or we celebrate this holiday or we do this and we go to bed with it and these people have got completely different ethos to life to us. They'll go to bed at six in the morning but then they'll go out at nine o'clock at night and just drive around all, all night or they, they they just have a complete and utter, my nan's been locked up, my dad's been locked up, my brothers have been locked up, they've all served time. So literally from an early age, never trust police and lie. Don't ever tell me you are. And they think this is a never ending cycle. Their kids will be the same, their grandkids will be the same. And all we're trying to do is, well, if you don't have a license, don't drive a car. If you if you wanted, I'm not being funny, run. Just don't stand there and try to lie. When I know you are, you know I know you are, and you know I know that you know I know you know. And everyone knows, but you're lying. And it's like that kid with hands in cookie jar and he's eating hot chocolate. And you have you been eating chocolate? No, I bet it's all around his face. And they just, he, he, he always used to say, I know you're lying because your mouth's working and words coming out. And they just like sit there and just like, you can't touch me like that. Well, I can, because you're an idiot. If I had respect for you, I'd treat you with respect, but I don't, because you're an idiot. So, yeah, the tape piss.